Hey boys and girls, how are you? Hope you're all having a great week so far. So I know that your fourth grade teachers are so thrilled with the diary entries that you've been writing. We're so impressed with the stories that you've created and all of the things that you've been doing in your diary entries and how you're integrating all of this great research. Today, I wanted to do a quick little video because we are gonna be combining two of the diary entries and I wanna make sure you understand what we're doing. So on this diary entry, you're going to be combining slides, diary entries number five and number six in your historical fiction writer's notebook. And the reason for that is that we wanted to take, have you take a look at the end of the journey, but then get it going with Ellis Island. So it's kind of like together. And I'm going to show you in my example how that could be done. Okay. So you're going to be writing the end of your journey today and your experience at Ellis Island. You're going to... I'm going to go over the slides with you, but then you can reread them again, slides 19 through 22, for instructions and a detailed example of your next diary entry. Okay, so if you notice here, I have today you will be combining these entries and writing today's entry on diary entry number six, slide 19. So you can skip over five, and you're going to do today's diary entry in number six, slide 19. So let's see how this is going to work. So things that you want to think about for this entry. So you want to think about that you're approaching Ellis Island. What are your first impressions? What do you have to do at Ellis Island? How are you feeling? And what are you thinking? Okay. So those are the things that you want to think about in this diary entry today. So this is just a reminder of things that you're going to be thinking about here. So let's think about how I did this entry. It's June 17th, 1895. I woke up this morning with the same feeling, nausea, hungry, and tired. I was tired of watching people die or just cry from these miserable conditions. My mom announced, Celia, Eleanor, hurry, come to the upper deck. Ellis Island, we are here. I really thought she was exaggerating. Celia and I pushed through the crowd on the upper deck. I couldn't believe my eyes. I finally saw something that resembled the end of this journey. I suddenly felt tears roll down my cheeks like a waterfall. I couldn't tell if it was tears of happiness, relief, or a little bit of both. As we arrived at Ellis Island, it was even more massive than I could have imagined. It took us hours to just depart the ship and approach the entrance of Ellis Island. This was only the beginning of what seemed like days at Ellis Island. It was very chaotic and crowded. Do not leave my sight, instructed Mama. Practice your name and where you are from, added Papa. It will be very easy to become separated from us, and if we lose you, it may take hours to find you, he explained in a stern voice. At first, we waited on a very long line. Children were being carried by a family member, sitting on long benches, or just sitting on the floor. First, we were asked so many questions. I was so scared that I would answer incorrectly. I would be denied and then sent back to Ireland by myself. All these unpleasant thoughts were stirring around in my head. We had a variety of medical inspections. First, I had to walk a straight line to make sure I didn't limp or have trouble breathing. I had to repeat my name to make sure I could speak and hear. Finally, they checked my scalp, eyes, skin, throat, and hands. I guess they wanted to make sure I didn't have any vi visible diseases. Thankfully, we all made it through. Many families did not. Many were sent back. Many were separated. Okay, so that's the end of this entry. So I just want to remind you, you're combining entry five and entry six. So you can talk about a little bit about the end of your journey as you see Ellis Island approaching and what happened at Ellis Island. Also remember that you're going to be writing this entry in diary entry number six in your historical fiction writer's notebook. Have a lot of fun. Have a great day, everyone.